Hi guys, it is my final video before Christmas and the new year. I will have my favourite books of 2019 video up before the end of the year but this is my final video before then. I feel like this is my final video of the year. So I thought that today I could talk to you about my reading year and how it's been. 2019 doesn't seem to have gone quickly, neither does it feel like it has passed slowly. I feel like I'm just waiting out now until the end of the year. I've got lots that I want to read next year and so many books that I'm really excited about but I don't quite feel like I can begin them yet because I don't want to have too much going on from now until the end of the year because I quite like a fresh start in January. I know that it is all quite arbitrary and having that goal of reading a set amount of books each year or stopping at the end of the year to carry on until the next year it doesn't actually mean anything but I do quite like having that new beginning in January where I feel like I can focus my attention on new books or new authors or goals that I set myself. I don't really set myself goals every year and for the past few years I have set my Goodreads challenge to one book because the way I see it anything else is a bonus but I suppose I always do like to read as much as I can because I like to read a wide variety of books and so that system is favoured by reading a large number of books but I feel like by the end of this year I'll probably have read between 60 and 70 books and I'm pretty sure that's the lowest number of books I've read since 2012 when I began all of this when I started my blog and got into reading more and actually I'm okay with that. I feel like this year my reading has been quite disjointed, I said it in a previous video. I feel like I've read some really good books and then not a lot in between uh, but actually once I delved into my Goodreads page and saw everything I had read I think what I've done this year is concentrated my reading more on things I know I'm going to love or I know I'm going to be interested in so even if they're not something I really love I know that I'm going to get something out of that book whereas in previous years I was reading books like that but also filling the gaps in time with loads of books that I was reading and then forgetting all about getting rid of they literally mean nothing to me anymore and I can't even remember what they were about so actually in a way I think that reading less this year has favoured better reading and I suppose deeper critical reading of the books that I've read and that has been something that I've really enjoyed. I also feel like this year hasn't been the most positive year for me, a lot has happened and I found it very stressful in many ways so I think that has reflected the way that I've seen the books I've read too. I've read some really good books, I won't give any titles away because I am waiting for my favourite books of 2019 video but actually if you watch back my halfway point favourites which is my favourite books of 2019 so far which I suppose I filmed in June or July, I think there's going to be a lot of inclusions in this half of the year and I think that's knocked quite a few of them off that pile which I think is great because it means I haven't been complacent with my reading thinking I've read everything that's good I don't need to read anything that's great this side of the year but actually I feel like I've read some lifelong favourites this year and every year and I've become more comfortable with my reading this year I'm more confident I feel like you can probably tell I've become more confident with reading classics I actually got a comment on one of my videos recently from some kind of troll that said oh not erudite enough to have read Tolstoy or Dickens because I think I must have mentioned the fact that I was reading lots of Tolstoy and Dickens but hadn't finished any of it and I feel like a year ago that would have upset me in a way but now a comment like that makes me laugh because I'm secure enough in what I've read and in my reading of everything I've read that it doesn't bother me and I only mention it because I know that there'll be some of you who are starting on your classics journeys next year or haven't read many classics and don't feel confident and I think there is this view that you have to be smart to read classics and you really don't. I have learnt so much through reading classics but when I started reading them I had very little knowledge whatsoever. I had a few basic ideas about what was going on in them but the more I've read the better my understanding 
beginning of everything else I've read has been and I suppose that lends me nicely onto this idea I've been having recently in which so many of my ideas about books I've read in the past have changed I think this year um, as I've revisited them or as I've watched adaptations and I've got books that maybe I rated four stars or three or four stars last year or the year before that now I would probably reread and change my rating too much higher. I don't tend to be strict with ratings anyway. I give so much five stars because I don't really care about the ratings. It's more my thoughts and analysis, I suppose, of those books that matters the most to me and thinking critically about them. That's what's important. So I don't really care about ratings, but I suppose I would take something like North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell which I really liked when I read it. I read it for Victober I think two years ago and I thought it was great but it wasn't one of my favourite books and then this year I watched the BBC adaptation from the early 2000s. It's one with Richard Armitage in it and that has expanded my entire brain capacity to love North and South which is a weird way of putting it but basically I liked the book but now since watching that adaptation I found a greater appreciation for it and I can reveal that in February or March I'm going to be hosting a read-along for North and South as part of the classics community which I will give more details of at the beginning of 2020. I want to read it again next year because I feel like my feelings will be far more passionate this time and I think that's also because I've read more books by Elizabeth Gaskell, I have learnt more about industrialisation, I've learnt more about women's roles and I've read more set in the north of England. So actually I've gone on a real journey with that book this year that I didn't anticipate and recently something I've been doing as I've been writing has been to listen to audiobooks. So I've been listening to audio adaptations of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights and I'm working my way through all the Bronte books. I also read Mansfield Park and I was listening to Jane Eyre and I think I experienced this partly last year when I read Jane Eyre again for the Bronte book club but I feel like again with Jane Eyre I'm having that same experience where I love it so much more this time and I'm loving it even more as I grow older in comparison to something like Wuthering Heights where I feel like my love for it has stayed the same or even if it's shifted slightly I feel like when I'm reading Wuthering Heights my understanding of it improves but my love for it ne doesn't necessarily improve whereas strangely with Jane Eyre I feel like I just love it more than ever and I can't see that changing. I feel like every time I read it I'm gonna love it more and that is not something that I had anticipated. So it's really weird how that can change and shift particularly as you get older and something I'd like to do next year on my channel is to make more vlogs where I reread classics I'd read right at the beginning of my classics journey and see what I think about them now. So I'm really looking forward to that and talking about the classics community I'm so excited excited to get started next year. Over 500 of you have joined the Goodreads page so far which just blows my mind and we're having some really amazing discussions over there. I am adding things to it constantly, lots of new discussions and something I've just started is a buddy reads page where I add pages for your buddy reads so you can all read books together. We're also going to have a book club from February onwards because I've also got the Classics of Thorn starting in January so that's really exciting. The Classics of Thorn runs in the first two weeks of January from the 1st to the 15th. I can't quite work out what I'm going to read first at the moment but I feel like I might go for something like an Edith Wharton who I'm just loving. I read The Age of Innocence and I'm obsessed with her writing now and that's been really nice as well. Even though I don't feel like 2019 has been the most positive year for me just in general not even just my reading I'm really looking forward to 2020 and hopefully making a fresh start of things. I had my first book out this year which was really exciting but also very tough. A lot of emotions that came with it and lots of new experiences that I found very difficult 
difficult at times but I am nearly finished with my second book Read With Pride which comes out in May and hopefully people will love just as much and then I'm soon going to be starting work on my third book which is my last contracted book with my publisher and then after that I've got some tentative plans which I don't want to share yet because I haven't quite worked it out and haven't discussed it with everyone but I've got a few things in the works that on a personal level are going to be really exciting and I think that you'll be interested in too but I'm not going to be sharing that for a while because it's it's not a solid plan it's 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 a very tentative plan but I'm looking forward to hopefully growing more as a person next year to pushing myself more to just experiencing things I feel like because of the experiences I've had this year I haven't been able to do that as much so I want to travel a bit more next year I think around the UK and just try to have fun with things I think this year has been very stressful and part of that has been down to me and how I deal with stress and lots of things in my brain but Hopefully 2020 will be better. I am hopeful that it will be and even if it isn't I hope that I have the strength to persevere, to carry on with everything. And really I suppose the final thing that I have to talk about in this video is to thank you for all your support this year. I started 2019 I think on around 24,000 subscribers or 25 and I've now got nearly 34,000 of you and and I can't believe that so many of you have been so supportive and so kind to me this year. I feel like I have developed so many wonderful friendships and relationships with all of you. I love seeing all of your comments and can recognise all of you now when you comment and it does mean the world. I'm looking forward to making some exciting classics related videos next year as well as videos on other things. Hopefully pushing my comfort zone with videos because I had a few periods this year where I didn't post as much as I wanted to and other periods when I I've been very active so I want to try and get some balance back into that but I suppose with all of these things I don't like talking about them too much just in case I jinx it. I'm quite superstitious when it comes to my writing at the moment. I won't talk about it because I'm worried that if I talk about it too much it will all go badly and I suppose I'm feeling some of the same about making videos so I am really excited for everything to come but you'll have to wait and see how it goes because I don't want to promise anything amazing and it's only mediocre if that makes sense. I hope you all have an amazing Christmas if you celebrate and if you don't I hope you have an amazing end of December and also a happy new year to all of you. I am so happy that I have grown such amazing connections with all of you this year. I am so thankful for all of your support and I hope you won't be disappointed in 2020 which I'm gonna make the classics year. 2020 is going to be the year of the classic and I can't wait to see what it has in store for all of us. So thank you so much for watching this video and all of my videos in 2019. Happy reading!